Good evening, I'm Lina Ormoudou. This is Africa 54. Vincent Macquarie is off today. Peace negotiations aimed at ending South Sudan's political stalemate are ongoing in Ethiopia. The Intergovernment Authority on De Development has been mediating peace talks with a view toward ending the conflict between forces loyal to President Salva Kiir and supporters allied with his former deputy, Rick Machar. For more on the peace talks, I'm joined on the phone from Addis Ababa by John Tanza, host and managing editor of VOA South Sudan in Focus radio program. Where do we stand currently in the peace talk process, uh, John? Welcome to the show. Yes, thank you very much, Linod. To answer your question, uh, 20 minutes ago, the delegates came out from a closed-door meeting, which lasted for like two hours. And the meeting was basically for the delegates from the World Party to discuss the issues that they have disagreed on. You remember they had a meeting on the 6th of this month, and uh, this is the second week of their meeting, and I they have like agreed on one key issue about how the security arrangement will be during a transitional period if they sign a peace agreement next week. And one of the proposals was that the capital city of South Sudan, that is Cuba, be free of weapons. That is, they are suggested that the Eagle Plus compromise document is suggesting that Cuba should be demilitarized and uh, key installations in the, in, in the town be under the uh, supervision of the foreign forces, basically forces from the Igat countries. Mm -hmm. And the government is saying, no, they cannot uh, entrust the security of the city in the hands of foreign forces. And so the government delegation have disagreed that they will not accept demilitarization of Juba. Mm -hmm. The rebels are saying Juba should be demilitarized because South Sudanese have lost hope in the South Sudan army. But so that is where things stand right now. Okay, well, there has been a lot of pressure on both sides to really come to some type of agreement by the deadline of August 17. So how do we go from all these uh, different issues that they disagree on to getting there to some type of uh, perhaps misunderstanding? Uh, well, the mood here being the negotiation, the move agency uh, being uh, you know, portrayed by two parties. Both of them are all saying that they are serious, they are committed, and they want to bring an end to the conflict. Okay. And I want to believe that they are living to their words, because as you can see, they've been there from 9 a.m., and they just left uh, two minutes, uh, 20 minutes ago, around uh, 6.45. Okay. So, and oh. the talks are progressing. Progressing. Uh, let, let's progress. say if a peace deal is met, uh, quickly because we're going to wrap up, if a peace deal is met by the deadline August 17, what, what, will it be sustainable uh, given past experiences of failure? Well, the sustainability of the, any peace agreement depends on the inclusivity of everybody. If everybody is included on board, it will be sustainable. But for now, other members of other political parties were barred from attending the peace talks by the government in Juba. So the sustainability of any peace deal is in question. Okay. I th uh, we're done. Thank you so much, John Tanza, for reporting from Addis Abeba. That was uh, VOA's John Tanza.